This is David Anderson uh, from Blue Bonnet Farms outside of San Antonio, Shores, Texas. Uh, David's uh, Blue Bonnet Farms are featuring for our hydroponic uh, greens that we use here at the restaurant, Chris Bistro. Um, we use them on uh, a lot of our dishes, uh, the hot entrees as well as the uh, uh, our cold uh, abs and salads. Um, there's uh, some advantages of hydroponic growing that David will explain. What actually hydroponics means is it's a term derived, it's a Latin term derived from working water. And that's, that's literally what we do. We provide the water, we provide the nutrient in the water, it feeds the plants from the seed. And so we grow in about 60 days from seed to this size of lettuces, and this is what we come to market with. We do about 25 different varieties of lettuces, about 30 different varieties of microgreens. Uh, we also do some heirloom tomatoes, um, some different, different herbs along with watercress, and arugula, basil, that type of thing. Some retail, but mostly food service. The, the advantages of what we do is a cleaner product. We don't use any pesticides, fertilizers, anything unnatural onto the plants. It's all done to where you can literally eat off of the plant, even out of the greenhouse. Um, it's something that, that we like to think is better for you. It's healthier. It's better for our planet. Uh, we can grow uh, three times the product in a third of the time that a natural uh, uh, farm would do. Uh, thereby, our footprint is much smaller in what we do. We can come to market quicker. We can provide a better quality product to our customers. Um, and it's pers personally, I think it's much better well received than something that you were picking up at the grocery store. And the nice thing also for me is that I can get a lot of stuff year-round versus uh, having to, to stay, stay with the uh, growing calendar. So uh, I enjoy your stuff. Thank you very much. We control Mother Nature as pretty much as much as we can. Um, we control the temperatures, the humidities um, as much as we can. But we are limited in something that we do. But we pretty much we do this year-round. Uh, most everything we do, we can do year-round. Some of them are limited to some sunlight issues, longer days, shorter days, this kind of thing. But pretty much everything we have is a year-round product. All right. All right. Thank you very much, David. Thanks. Appreciate it. your work. Some of our microgreens that we're using now, uh, these are pea shoots, and of course they've been already used some here in the restaurant. Uh, this is a peppercress, uh, scarlet mustard. This is a flamingo amaranth. It's a variety of a spinach. We have chives. Uh, I believe this is arugula. Uh, this are pea shoots. This is actually cilantro, very different than what you might find in the, in the stores. This is long before it puts out that clover leaf. This is some more of the crest that we were growing, a little bit taller, a little bit more cilantro, and a little more chives, a little more mustard. Our baby green romaine, uh, very tender, but still very a lot of flavor, a lot of crispness in the product. No bitterness in the back rib. Our baby red romaine. This is very, very popular for our customers because of the intense colors that it has with it. We have Our arugula, and our wild arugula is something that we're very proud of as well. This is something that you cannot get the flavor out of on a, on a processed product. If you'll notice, all of our plants come delivered still alive, and until that cus our customers cut that product, it's it's living and it's got a shelf life at this point of several weeks even in their coolers. Just a couple of different varieties of lettuce. This is the red galactic, uh, more more red flavor, uh, more red colors. Uh, this time of year, we're going to get a lot deeper reds than we would in the summertime. Um, this is called a Tropicana. Big, nice, big, full head of lettuce. Uh, it helps our, our cases, it helps fill the cases, and our chef likes it because it's a nice, big, broad leaf, and they can do that on sandwiches. They can line plates just with that. They can do wraps with that, even. This one is called a tango, very similar to a frisee, but this time of year, much greener. Frisee is going to be more of a white or a blanched color, and this is always this color green. Uh, very lacy, very tender, but very, very well uh, received in the marketplace. This is a different variety of our, of our uh, uh, it's actually called a red bib. Uh, it's called a skyphos is the term for it, but it's different colors of red and green interlaced with, within the same head.